has a different mission. Like, the Bloodborne is called the Holy Moonlight Sword, and then Elden Ring is Dark Moonlight. But the Dark I do have a favorite in there because I exist outside of time. My perception is all skewed and, for lack of a better term, messed up. So my favorite drink exists at any moment as the utmost wonderful drink that you yourself could possibly order that would incite the highest level of happiness for you. Like the no, I'm sorry, what was the My name favorite the drink is source. Please Make Your Way to Prep Room. We are due to begin yeah, shortly. I, I would friends, please make your way to the prep room. We are beginning to begin shortly. We are beginning to begin shortly. Be be uh, short I, I, I believe I was kind of cutting out a little bit there, but I believe you said your favorite drink was my favorite drink? That is correct. Okay, good to know. So I'll just keep pouring the ether melon smoothie. I'm being summoned, sorry. Travelers, make your way to the prep room. The event is about to begin. I see. Hi, people. you up and I move you. <laughs> Is my stick even use working right now? Yeah. How do I get even slower? You can still be a oh, host and be an NPC. Also, like Giga Patron. Having more than technically, if you're a tour guide. So having more than like ten avatars on is rough. Hi. I must say, tour guide, you're using a move very well. I don't know. I don't know. Did I get it there? No, it's the whole. You know, it's ten fifty. Yeah. Oh, it is like that. You know what? I'll get into VR. I'll be right back. Yes, please. Yeah. It's kind of loud because. If it's that loud, I can't hear. I'm charging my full body right now. I am. Oh, yeah? Well, you Maybe you should charge it immediately at after getting out of VR. I did. And I didn't have enough time to charge all my trackers and my controllers. That's so nice. That's why, why would you tell people to do that? Well, Maybe I'm saying that just because there's a certain someone who... Okay. Chris, like, oh. same thing, like, um, three times in a row. Geometry oh, yeah. has been so, done by I recognize that model. Game physics. Hold on. And this one is from Waypoint. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Where is it? There you are. Formerly, it's, there. it's a lot better than what I used to have. It's a 56 puck novel. So, the outcome of the story. Better than the, like, 10 year old i7 I used to have. Yeah. I apologize for my absence last tour. Seems like if you remove a fist bone in Unity, at least with this model, that part will be draped straight to the floor. Dinner meeting, basically I'm making them where I can't oh, edit this oh, to be small enough for the stuff. I'm actually going to swap to a model that I recently bought on the cat. Okay, wait.
You're doing a bit of a tippy toe right now. Thanks. Oh, oh. Come over here. 42, 19, 73, 18. Tenny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 600,000. Oh, okay, thank you. certain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex. And one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Yes. Welcome to the rendezvous, our point of contact to the narrative domain. Tonight, we will be telling a story the story of the prince. You are welcome to record tonight's event, <laughs> but we kindly ask you to wait to post your videos or photos until after the tour is finished. In just a moment, I will open an invite-only portal the narrative domain but before then please my friends you must be acquainted with your tour guide of tonight yes the greatest voice actor to ever observe the narrative domain the one the only Trey Jim the tour guide Scuff car up. Good evening, wanderers of the narrative halls. As mentioned, my name is Trajan, and tonight I will be your storyteller. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, there are rules. Well, one rule, and that is as follows. I kindly ask that each time we stop for narration, that you become silent. However, I encourage you to talk amongst yourselves while we traverse this narrative realm. Without further ado, I am going to drop a portal to tonight's world. However, my friend...
friends, please do not enter the portal until I give the signal that it is safe to do so. If you do enter it, I will know, and I will write your name on a list, and I will not invite you to my birthday party. Those in front of me, please move aside so that I can drop the portal. Mm -hmm. hey, when is, when, when I was is joking, by the way. Anyway. I don't have birthday parties. I'm a timeless being. My friends. Nice. <laughs> but we'll celebrate one for you anyway. I will see you on the other side, friends. Enter. He didn't crash this time. He didn't crash this time. That's a good sign. Stable? Oh, no. Yeah, what do you yes, think so far, Cyan? Oh. I don't think I can risk. Oh, no, I can't select anyone. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't crash again. <laughs> right? <laughs> not, not yet. Oh, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, that's not and right. Kirby will die. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. I, I'm, uh, I don't want to crash multiple oh, times during this tour again. What if I get lost? I hear you. You can do it. I believe in you. Where are we? Okay. I don't want to crash uh, multiple times uh, again. I want, I want to play uh, that role. Uh, I, 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 I think Tracer knows what role I want to play. Go, Tracer. Go, Tracer. Go, Tracer. Go, Tracer. I just want to let you know that Flies of Rain, though you are the only one in here that I can see everyone else's diamonds. You'll get it. The same standard rule that would be assumed of when the first narrator's talking, just don't talk over the diamonds. No, it's because of my settings. It's yeah. so that I don't crash. I'm trying to find a replacement. You barely made it. Um, yeah. to like try yeah. to find a don't want to I 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 don't want to but I've been having much problems. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How are you doing, Inkox? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, no, that's because it's the same texture. That's pretty good. You know, over there. No, that's me, though. That's not bad. That's. Oh, my God. Makes you think. Oh, right. I should. My word, you're processing board. I wasn't serious. I feel like it wouldn't be right if I invited Captain Oh, no. Four, oh, three, two, travelers, those one. of you in the back, kindly make your way to the front where you can clearly hear the tour guide counting down. Jokes on you, I just finished the countdown. Welcome to the narrative <laughs> of the prince, my friends. Before we begin, Aside from the one rule from earlier, there are some notes specific to this world. Please listen carefully. Take a moment to adjust your world volume so that you can clearly hear distant waves in the background. If you have clicked your button, the button to your left, the big orange button. If it's green, click it so that it becomes orange. Tour mode should be enabled for this event. If you are experiencing lag, feel free to turn off all avatars, except for the tour guides, myself, Sheen, and Rendizo.
If you press tab on your keyboard or press the menu button with your right hand above your head, you'll see the world's custom menu. You can use the fast travel menu in conjunction with the tour guide's help to catch up to the group. I will announce whenever we reach a new chapter in the story. I hope I can catch up. One last note for VR users. This tour has some strong filters in some parts. And now, my friends, let us begin. Please, follow me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Can you hear it? The waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, even the cooks and stable hands. Everyone in the castle. Everybody in the kingdom. Everyone heard the ocean. But that didn't make any sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until. Chapter 1 High in a castle tower, alone in a dark chamber, a young prince trembles beneath the covers. 
His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid. His mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions, memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning, roiling, nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found yes. on the beaches, blue faces strangled by seaweed. I don't know. Bloated, I don't know. Buried in grey sands. Well, I'm, in a, I'm doing an event right now, so I'll let you know. Them. All were lost to the sea. Okay. I'll let you know. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination, finding brief reprieve in the pop of a candle. But this remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then right, slowly surveying the dark corners of his chamber. There's a meal on the cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It's a pendant from the sacred land of Lydicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart. His brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as the bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge, and... Who would be at his door at this time of night? Is it one of the guard making sure he hasn't fled? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake? The prince exhales and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has his day sure finally reached the capital? Is his mother, the queen, sending him away? Is he... Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of these questions leave his lips. There he sits, useless. 
Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak. Take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone... Someone is after us, and... He turns suddenly to face the door. The prince tries to listen. Hurry, the brother says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice is weak, as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards, the aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with the first belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Lydician pendant into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark. Please follow me. And so we move on. Is that? First. 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 I was first. Okay, J Monkey, you keep crashing. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't a crash, it was my Wi-Fi adapter. Yeah. Oh. Dang, that's rough. Well, at least he's back, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe that's yeah. why I kept crashing, because my Wi-Fi was, was being janky that day. It has a tendency to do that yeah. sometimes. Yeah. No, like, everyone's trying to join. Probably. Yeah. Like, sometimes I would just... Too. like No, stop. Like, like, for example, I would just like, browse Chrome one day, hey, I, like, I, I click on a website, so and the website just would not load mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. I hit refresh again, and it just fixes itself. Ah, uh, you see, you just be unpopular like me, and nobody wants to hang out with you. <laughs> that's my usual I was. <laughs> uh, that's a matter of... I'm gonna go invisible real quick yes, and run can. out and we grab food, because I know this part. It was literally detach, oh. detach, detach. Because, uh, Watch, about to happen now. should be about cooked right now. Watch, you get something. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh -huh. Wait, I mean, really? Yeah, or... but what if we did defy? No, just I'm messing like... with you. No, it's just that you said it, and then he said it too, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Well, we're going to do define the, the first don't. one. I thought it was the question. What are we defying? Well, that's what we have been doing. I was just Let's wondering go. if you've ever... My <laughs> friends, I ask for your attention. The story continues. The prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle has been silent thus far. But here, footsteps echo from some place ahead. Behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. <coughs> a moment later, a door swings open. The sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. The figure staggers past in a rush, glancing around but briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. That was the Aegis. The prince's heart flutters, but something's wrong. She looked injured, and how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after her, but he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. My friends, this way. Onward. First again. It's not a competition, Jesus. 
Huh? It, it's a you chocolate. Can't Relax. Your head and press the menu button. Or tab. It appears that the arm is the arm is made for Teg. <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. My rat. Yes, yep, the arm is made. made it. It. <laughs> I was just wondering why rats, he's around here. We are the Ritz. Celebrate another Man. one of birthday bash. Good job. <laughs> Very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Travelers, the story continues. Here we go. Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past the shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince looks at a nearby open book, some old red tome. Who is after us? The brother stops. The Oracle is dead. The Inquisitor killed him. He looks the Prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen. And the Inquisitor saw me. The Prince stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The Oracle, dead? An inquisitor? A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. But, but the oracle said that he is the chosen one. The oracle said that he survived for a reason. The oracle said he would learn how to control it if he just went to Ludicia and found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly as they can, drag a shelf away from the wall. Behind it, over to the ground, is an old door. A secret passage. This leads outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? Ready? How can he be ready? No. No, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream, a nightmare. The Oracle can't be dead. Any moment now, he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and his mother will be there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. The brother pulls him back. Hey. I know you're afraid. I am too. But without us, a Lazarus has no ruler after mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help. And then... I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this. All right? It's going to be okay. We'll be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, watch your head, for we must follow them inside. Yeah, watch your head. Mm -hmm. I'm for the guard thing, Regal. Kirby. For a minute I thought I wasn't going to load in in time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got stuck in the fine. load screen and I thought I wasn't going to load it in time oh. for the guard card. Well, I had so about to do this. Oh. Oh, what happened? Uh -huh. um, we're going to be giving oh, four options. I'll get to the Fireborn part. I really want to play that role so again. They're going to list a bunch All of options right. and we'll tell oh, you which one after. Dude, best of luck to you that we get mm. there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. My friends, the story so continues. Oh. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't directly recognize it. 
Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room, checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. I'm blue, dabba dee dabba die. An image <laughs> rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. <laughs> In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent, a great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the younger elk's shadow moves. The shadow betrays the form. The forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. I will give you one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard from the group. Your time starts now. So, um, because okay. of things like that Detach. happened later in the tours, or earlier tours, right? We unlocked the Ladies, the ladies and gentlemen, my friends. Detach. Where you get the other one, so. Detach is the actual so, answer. Yeah, Mother's instinct? so detach is what we're going which is that i think yeah i don't know anything about that Come on, come over here. Come over here, Trini. Trini, come over here. Sit right front and center and stand up. All right. Yeah, but together we have so much mass that they're orbiting us. What do you think she's doing? What are you doing? I don't think it's me. No, Wow. 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 That was that was a little off the cuff. I apologize. Let me join in on that. Join in. 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 Join
detach was not one of the options I enlisted. Are you sure? I am sure. Very well. This person has given an answer that I did not offer. How deep do these stories go? Let's find out. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. In the moonlight forest, he remains. The shadow continues to shift, sliding beneath the younger elk. The greater elk stamps its hoof unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again, and the shadow cowers. Then the shadow turns. It turns in the direction of the prince. And the prince looks back as the darkness black as the dark side of the moon. And in this vision the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back throughout the rest of the hidden passage. During this time the prince is aware of the brother avoiding both some zealots and the silver aegis. My friends, please follow me. Interesting. We speed running. <laughs> Snap back to reality. Mmm. <laughs> spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. Please spawn. Spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn in. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, right. You want to follow the fence? And let the TV out of the car. Super sonic speed. Thank you, little shorter. We're good. This is the best side you will decide your fate. Okay. The bed saw you will decide <laughs> your fate. Now, I'm gonna go in the rafters. Bye. You are fresh. Why is it my bird. I love the bird. These maps were made with, um, Eat? assets on the I have a bird because like that. Because the bed just decides the thou shalt bird. sleep. Like PS1 games, <laughs> yeah. Was no. this bigger than the story shalt outside? sleep. With feet it's sticking out of your head. Sticking them yes. your chest. These I don't know. This is from the We just tickle them. Okay, yeah. I thought so. I was like, I've seen some of this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. I was committing to a bit. Good eye, good eye. You were. Screw you guys, you can have the bed, I'm getting the, the bunk bed. <laughs> ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. This one receives um. head pets. I'll also provide head pets to the, to the ground. Paper. Travelers, I can't the story yeah, it's 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 continues. I ask for your silence. Chapter 2 A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old, dust-covered bed. He sits and he sighs. He is tired and hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside. On one hand, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about it, and the Aegis, the Oracle, the Inquisitor, 
but his mouth is dry and his jaw aches and he for the first time is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him I think it's safe here are you all right his brother is looking at him the prince nods and the brother approaches and offers a water skin here he says have some the prince looks at the water skin. The leather is carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis? The brother says. You think I killed the Oracle? I didn't think you could hear any of that. The brother looks down. Well, says the brother, I did one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but you must understand, I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation, but I heard their conversation, what they said about you. I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. I saw the blood spilling. The Oracle had called you ocean-born. The Inquisitor is... He wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. He thinks you were sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He... Well, I don't understand it fully, but... What I do know is... If I went to the Aegis for help... Then she and everyone else in the castle... Would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor. Including Mother. This way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brother's. Something about his voice, the way he's talking. He's never heard his brother sound so... afraid. He can feel the Ludician pendant in his pocket. Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. Come on. We need to keep moving, he says. It won't be safe here for long. We need to get out of Moravos, and then... And then... Well, I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies. Someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. The prince takes it. And they exit. My friends... Let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos. Oh. Spam. Spam jump. First. Yeah. First. Wait, Sheen. There was like a, there was like a certain name for the <coughs> McDonald's in this place. What was it called? McWendy's ah. or McZenald's? Where my people? <laughs> it's called McSilence. <laughs> Nah. Oh well. I'll find out later. Also, I the name. not Sheen. Dads, you misunderstood. I was offering you my Oh, sorry. Treja, I'm Identi sorry. Identity problem. <laughs> oh boy. Treja will remember this. Come here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with names. I remember them. Well, you messed up the story now. Right here. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. No, no, no. I do hope to hear more of this oh great story box. <laughs>
-hmm. No, you come mm -hmm. here too. Check my too. YouTube to see all the videos. Mm -hmm. here, here we go. Travelers, the story continues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up, ignorant of what had transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second-story windows. Farmers set up stalls to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces while innkeeps sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots dressed in red approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before the Viner Church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Treason? Truly? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the old colonist, taken his younger brother as an hostage. The Inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced stations on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he... Queen's orders. If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the Crown and of God. As you say, we shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. No, nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up and don't let anyone see your possessions. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are. We'll definitely be recognized. We just need to get to... Hmm. All right. I have an idea. I know someone who could help us. But we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross Morovos, but they're going to need your help. Tonight's NPCs, J Monkey, Vevs, come and stand below me. The fire emblem. Playing city guards. NPCs, please change into your avatars. Everyone else, make sure you have the avatars of these two enabled. NPCs, please take your positions in the city, making sure you cannot hear me as I continue the rules. Very well. In before the NPCs block trade him. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, this so now we gotta play a game of that you oh, are able oh. to use your microphone. <laughs> if you do not wish to speak, Fair or if you think these NPCs know you personally too well. I just or if you want to opt out of this quest for any other reason, please stand behind the boxes here, behind me. Everyone else, please take a moment to form pairs and stand in these pairs clearly. I'll give you one minute to do so, starting now. <laughs> I see what no. I see. All right, who wants to be part of this? I know, right? So now we have to play basically hide and seek. <laughs> does everybody have a pair? If you do not, I please do not. come and stand below me. Uh, it's really Is there anybody else without a pair? 
mean, we can oh take dear. in a third. Are we allowed to take in a third if they can't find a partner? Very well. Kirby. K hey Kirby. Nine, nine, nine. Please form a yes. triplet with Ether Memento and Smiles Psycho. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethan Memento. Right in front of you. Oh, oh, back, oh, here. Oh, back here! Back here! Back here! Wow, to here. he's walking right by him. Sorry. <laughs> My friends, there are some rules. Oh, Please like listen carefully. This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be somewhere in the city and will be questioning you as pairs, so please remain together for this quest. If they address you, you must answer their questions. No other conversation is allowed between travelers and NPCs. And this is what you will all be doing. You are to wander the city of Moribos while staying together in your pairs. You may talk among yourselves or with other travelers. When questioned, you must answer the NPC's questions truthfully, except for the princes who must lie. I am now going to choose the pair that will represent tonight's princes. Tricky Cat, a Magicoco, are you a pair? Yes. Come closer. You two are to lie to the guards, do you understand? Mm-hmm. Very well. My friends, no role-playing is required. You are answering questions about your real life. None of you may give any indication at all about who the princes are. You may attempt to hide from the NPCs, but this may come across as suspicious. I'll give you all ten minutes to roam the city. At the end of this time, you'll hear the town bell. Please come and find me at this point. The NPCs will then privately discuss which pair they think were playing as the princes and lying to them. Your goal is to keep the princes' identities secret. Oh, that's pretty neat. My friends, mm -hmm. your ten minutes starts now. Oh, right. before that goes, yeah. I can't remember the location. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'm scared. 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 Yeah, I'm Sure. Never. I want my McNuggies! <laughs> you throw it up the rock, and it leads to McZealot. Obdouterers, please cower in the back recesses of this alley. You'll be safe here. You have ten minutes to spend how you please. It's gotta be the key to McSalt's around here somewhere. I will get my McNuggies, Vivi. What about the pit? Oh, hell yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am high energy tonight. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Alright, let's go cause more chaos.
Start getting bored, bored. You start hopping asleep. Which is usually a good item. <laughs> I wonder if there's any like way onto the uh, the roofs or anything. <laughs> Probably not. Um, you have to find um, a parkour. Yeah, most people okay, usually okay, like try and slip through a wall and start. Ah, it is a hypercube. Intentionally by design. Hey, Jason. There is no escape. <laughs> Mark is planning on it. Yes. They're not participating, generally. Alright, let's see. And then... Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hop down. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> McSalad? Oh? I did that Pardon with... Me? I did that with... Excuse uh, me? McSalad? Vid the other day. I was like, go ahead, jump down. <laughs> yep. No. <laughs> I just told him that you can't jump in there. <laughs> I appear to be stuck before really you able to jump I was wondering where you were <laughs> at one point. And I just uh, me in like the pre-alpha. Uh -huh. You can you can get over that. I've oh, seen people do that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. If you like do jump, jump up in the sky. Mm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like oh, there that. he is. <laughs> Yeah. I shouldn't do that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rendiza in the window out. again. How much? How much for Rendiza? How much did I like to beat <laughs> Michael's last time? Uh, yeah, the Rendiza in the window was like beat Michael's last time. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they're dropping the price. So I think Rendiza is now oh. hundred oh. depreciating. Dang. Hundred Schmeckles. That's like a lot of Schmeckles. I only have three Schmeckles. Man, look at you, you're poor. Trade him! Oh, I'm a brush there. <laughs> Spent all your money on that jacket. Oh, 
<laughs> what are you hearing? <laughs> yeah, something about cutting cucumbers. Anyways, this is That's where the, the uh, we're all gonna meet up. Oh, is this like blocked off? Yeah, it's blocked off. It's like a mini, mini forest. <laughs> I'm gonna make it in. Oh god. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, Cyan, I'm jumping in the pit. Here we go. Huh. Hold up. Huh. And... Here we go! Oh! It doesn't work <laughs> when your avatar actually stops. Like, you probably yeah, should, like, yeah. adjust the animation a little bit to the last few mm, frames a little further down. <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me, officer. Have you seen? Have you seen the key to McDonald's anywhere? Not so much in a Unity. Yeah, I think she has it. So it's the same thing. Do time. You just click the what? like. You move the track to the no, last I, one. I, I have find whatever thing you want to like, move and just like I don't move buy it. For Too bad. Okay. Um, okay. 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 I have to move it then. You know what? Actually, yeah. It's, you're trying to if it's an edible thing, then yeah, it's really simple. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. First of all, what do you most often do during the moonlit hour? Anyways, yeah, we pretty much hours, checked out mostly the town. Either so. talking to people or doing model mm -hmm. work. Wait, what? Other than jumping in the hole. Huh? As of late, it's also model oh, work. But other than that, it's basically here. just sitting in chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not uh, able to this. Wasting my time with games. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. I'm hearing like a rustling sound. Whew. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, meh. I guess I don't hear it. I had to turn my music down just to like ensure that I could hear the people. I'm yeah, not used to the new sound like volumes. The, this is great. The new sound volumes are gonna. Oh yeah, and um, who was that? Tommy time. He found out a. Uh, so, if the what is it? The. Oh, there's the bell. Sound. If the uh, oh, transparency. For whom the bell to, uh, tolls. It's me. Because I keep my name tag. That's what I normally tra have. Transparent. When you turn the transparency or the capacity at uh, zero, so ding 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 but multiple people <laughs> working together could. Feels bad. If we had we access have, uh, to it, we have yeah, hopefully they fix it. Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, it's going crazy. It's going crazy. You guys didn't see already. I just gotta remember. Oh, you already did? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't know if it's frustrating more than just the bell go break. You have received a message. Oh, wait. Oh, that was from you. I didn't check it because I just assumed it was from somebody else. Sorry. <laughs> So if we if we win, oh. now is the time, Vevs and J Monkey, to privately discuss oh, you your yeah, findings. Yeah, yeah. If, mm, excellent. From the you, called the you wanna now, whisper to each other, quote unquote? Win another mini game in the future. Uh, oh, yeah. I hear the we also get the chance to do um, yeah, another detach and no, after that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. that. Uh, Sorry about that. Time where we're asked a question which is the story. The other answer to the story is the five. Down here. Since okay, the a little like teaser of what's to come. Defy is the oh, fifth one. <laughs> That's not stated anywhere. Oh, hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, the last know. time I went on a mobile night, but this time I'm going to go with someone else. Ooh, I think I know oh. who. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. if it's who I'm that whistle gave yeah. it away. Uh -huh, it did. Before, uh, when I went here last week, I should be a taller guess right. So like, I do wonder what would happen if you find a few princes. It doesn't work at that. Small. <laughs> eh. Hey, Pets. It's really cute, though. It. <laughs> Thank you. It is. I I still have to do so, make the scissors <laughs> on it actually function, so that's gonna be a, the fun mm. part. Yeah. If I'm gonna play the Fireborn, I'm gonna. Jay Monkey. Vibs, have you had your discussion? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, quiet down. Just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. A moment is up. Uh. <laughs> I 
feel ignored. How hurtful. <laughs> Sorry, my, my mic is muted. NPCs are I... taking a moment Aww. to secretly discuss who they think the... I wasn't about to say imposters. The princes wow. are. Oh. Sounds pretty oh. saucy to me. Oh! Where did... Oh! I think my partner disappeared. J-Monkey. Where is J-Monkey? Because he was right here, and then I looked at you, and then I looked back, and he was gone. Are you two currently in a call together? As recommended. No, we were just using the text chat, but uh, okay, we did agree though. We did find somebody to agree on, so I can just say. Very well, you have agreed. One moment, <coughs> please. We're taking an F for J. <laughs> J. He keeps crashing his internet. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna be, you? My friends, Unlocked. this quest Unlocked. has come to a close, which means it is time for the NPCs, or in this case, the surviving NPC. To present their accusation, Vevs, who do you think the princes were? Who was lying tonight? My guess is my man and Cyan Laser. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> my man and Cyan. Nope. That AVI. Did you just say nope? Hmm. Wait, did I? It's, I thought I, was, thought I was muted. <laughs> I was going to draw it out dramatically, but there you go. Vevs, I'm afraid yeah, that that go. is not correct. <laughs> princes, please step forth. Who are the real princes? Princes, where are you? Come. Do a dance on them. Dance. You are my second Tricky guess. Cat and a magic Oh. Yeah. Very well. As always, this has influenced the course of this story, which means the story continues. Bum, bum, bum. I knew there was something weird about you. You were too generic in all your answers. It's because they're good. It's because they're good. Oh, wait, does that mean our intro is there too? My friends, your attention, please. This is what happens next. No, I actually because I was asking him questions at I'm the kidding. beginning, and like the bell was ringing. I'm and kidding. Like, mm -hmm. As he walks across Moravos, the prince mm -hmm. tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother just strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past his brother. A city watchman is talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. The guard's back is to them. The brother backs up and guides them both another way. The prince glances back at the old couple. He can see the old woman looking at him. And she points the guard in the opposite direction. A short while later, the prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. I'm blue, gabba dee dabba die. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Amidst vague, towering structures, a blue bird flits. Darting from corner to corner, desperate. Giving pursuit is a red feline. Stalking calmly, yet appearing in places where it should not be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent and panicked. 
It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location. Everything begins to redden. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. You have one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard from the group. Your time starts now. I heard detach I have the touch. Uh, uh, I'm curious, hi. did you make your model? That sucks. Uh, <laughs> no, the model's from Altaian Pax. I'm guessing the one from Altaian is cool, but I think looking at things and just nodding is even more awesome. So if you get to just nod, don't do anything. It's like things go wrong and I just look at her and see the light on the objective book. I find it funny though they chose us because we were, uh, I don't know, we, we were pretty quick with our answers. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. answers are very generic. It's, it's yeah. adorable. Yeah. That was... That was me I last week when the uh, internet you know, died like oh, maybe through the day and then didn't come back until the next oh, day. I, I don't know, I feel like it'd be more detached, honestly. Uh oh. 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 Uh which means that I am going to call upon Trinitite. I see that you speak. What is the best answer that you have heard? I choose detach. You choose detach. Correct. Very well. You have sealed their fates. Uh oh. So ominous. The prince mm. takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he sees the truth. He remains among the strange structures, fleeing from the fireborn beast. The red intensifies, and with it comes an unnatural warmth. It glows and rises and burns. But it doesn't need to. This exists within the prince's mind, and his mind is his own. He stops running. He turns back. And there is the fireborn. The prince takes control and looks down into his own hands and realizes that he can defy the power of his enemy. And the prince remains in the vision. The brother carries him upon his back through the rest of the city. The prince is aware of being taken into the home of a veteran knight with a shimmering sword above the mantelpiece. He is aware of the brother attacking the friendly veteran before escaping into a hidden passage through the underworks. Hmm. 
my friends, this way. Okay, this seems to be a little bit more positive. <laughs> okay, didn't crash this Just time, for good measure. For good measure. Just... Okay. Ah, oh, joyous crap. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, my mortal enemy. Last one over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> we know we like your bow, but sheesh. I can't get let me up. Go through the door to the next area. Go through the door. Maybe. I'll go through I'll the consider. door, he said. Okay. Now's the time to take a good break. What do you think? Few weeks. Yes, so is the break point. I made it. Maybe. We just gotta wait for a trade. Right. Yes, know, you uh, have. Soup. But good. Captain Panda's not here though. Can people actually clap on the board? I might have a fireplace on it. Hold on. Yes. Now we're all throw a fireplace on my own avatar. Just Fish soup. For... <gasps> Fish soup. <laughs> you know what? This, this is the closest yes. we're gonna get you to saved fish us. soup right now, but. uh... Here, hold on. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, All right. Fish soup. If, if you can, if you can. There right, we go. Fried right. fish. Right. fish. And I will play the sound. This works. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. I need to get the sound ready. All right. Soup. Soup. <laughs> Hey! We have a campfire, yeah. Ingredient yeah. number one. Yeah, real campfire. Let's go. Nice. Yo, any fire can be a campfire. You just have to make a Wait. camp around it. You can't fully pick them up, but you can move. If you get the marshmallow close to the actual fire, it'll actually roast. And then. Bring the marshmallow to your face. Oh, chicky cat, you're a I'm Let me try. Time to level up. Time to level up. Oh, no. Just make sure you eat them like. One head. There is no time for soup. No! Because of the choices you have made. No. The break that would normally be at this part of the tour is now moved forward. Later. Oh. Oh. Which means that the oh. story continues. Ooh. Never mind. Oh, I, this looks oh, good. I see. Chapter three. Ah. Delicious. It's after sundown by the time the brothers emerge. The underworks tunnel led them to an old mill and from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. Moravos looms in the distance, gently glowing in the moonlight, as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs ache, his feet ache, his stomach growls. He's tired and sore and short on breath. His brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do that? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his own lip. He didn't mean to say that aloud. Go back? The brother lifts his head. Go back? And what? Go back and face the fireborn? He'll kill you, and then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the Oracle chose him, and nobody could disagree. The Varnha Church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him, and then, and then Daisha will invade, and the people will have to live under the rule of one of two monsters. 
No, we're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We'll go to Felden. We'll warn them. We'll help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian if I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake for it. Do you hear me? We still... Stop it! Please stop. You're scaring me. Sorry. I'm... I'm sorry. I just... It's... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. It's just us. Listen. His brother squats before him. I'm scaring you. I see that. I don't like to see you afraid. But I'm doing what must be done. I'm... Do you remember when you were little and we found that nest in the old tower? We spotted the mother, a blue wing, coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We even named them, too. Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle? Uh, pickle. Yes. Little, little Pickle. And then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought fiercely. You asked me why it happened. Do you remember what I said? Varna is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety and the cat can't reach her. But this cat is sly. It's going to try to trick other animals into helping it, so the little birds might have to do some things that seem bad, just so they don't get eaten. They have to, well, learn to fly, perhaps, or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He does not want to do the things he's doing. He has to. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother to hug him. But he cannot bring himself to move. The brother stands. We can go through the Duke's Welt. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... The brother stops and looks down. The prince is hugging him tightly. Hey, it's all right. Look, when this is over, we will sail to Lodicea, the sacred land. We'll go together, just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. Ludicia, really? Do you swear? The brother smiles and the world gets a little bit brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night, and they're going to need your help. Please follow me. Okie dokie. Sounds fun. Oh, boy.
do Freedom? need to figure out how to make I guess this is where I, I can make myself into my some camp and a tire for this Abby. Ah, you gonna be the NPC yeah. for tonight? Mm, me? Oh no, I'm just. Uh, I'm no, gonna no, truth. I really want to survive at least through this mini game. I take the bush. You should. Yeah. Like, yes, okay. Close, but it, it, this mini game yeah, but in between. Could be to an advantage of yours, you know. Are you okay, Mr. Where? Yeah, but I thought they mentioned that they didn't want. Uh, oh yeah, yeah that's Tiny right. Avatars. Evenly sized avatars. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you did turn uh, it back on. Being smaller than me kind of makes it tough. Oh, J Monkey yeah. came back to life. Hey Shin, what'd you say? You thought you died before our eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, try NPCs. Non playable oh, playable oh, characters. Oh, Vevs oh, and J Monkey. Please come nice. hither. Where is, is J Monkey there? Oh yeah, you're over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is the monkey of the J. Yes. NPCs, <laughs> please change into your avatars now. Everyone else, make sure you still have their avatars fully enabled. Alright, there, I'm good. I think. Is that pair of yours, my man? Yep. Uh, Same one in my oh, face. Very your well. Me. Friends, please wait here, as I must send the avatars, the NPCs rather, through to prepare. <laughs> NPCs proceed. Okay, good. It's just those two. Are they through? Yes, they are. Oh, they'd be scary. My friends, another quest awaits you. Listen carefully. The Duke's Will at night is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. Navigate your way through the labyrinthine duke's will, which, according to legend, is haunted. Collect as many resources. Um. I think the radio might be I bugging out. I think the having a malfunction. The, the radio is Shush. <laughs> I think they malfunctioned. Damn radio. Malfunction. Goodness, that's a small taste of how spooky this next section is. <laughs> yes, collect as many resources as you can. Each of you has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. You must also avoid the Duke's Wild Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds costing you valuable time. This phantom may teleport to any phantom fire at any point in time, so stay alert. You are being observed. Please avoid using avatars that are very small, very large, or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either Make your way to the end where I will be waiting, or stay behind to act as a distraction for the fandom, buying your allies additional time. Please do not use the teleportation shortcuts while partaking in this quest. After your five minute timer expires, all remaining resources will disappear, and you will be escorted to the end. Hmm. So, it's basically scavenger hunt, but, um, mm -hmm. also freeze tag. Okay, I'm okay. Ah, uh, I see. Also, it's not uh, anyway, so, if, so basically, if the phantom touches us, yeah, someone can unfreeze yeah, us? Very well. Scavenger hunt. No, 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 we just, it's, you're slowed for a little bit. Already. You can still move, you're just slowed. Yeah, you're frozen for a few sure seconds. It's not randomized again. per person, so we can, like... Once it all ends, it'll be... I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is. I am... Your five-minute timer starts now. Yeah, it's not always random, but I believe, but I... Alrighty. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Let's go to Quest. Let's go this way. Berry. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. See, there's there's a berry. We all have the berry. I'm still in. I have pointed things out to people that people haven't seen before. Well, perhaps they've already collected it. I have. Uh, Slow. Yeah, we got touched by the monster. Yeah, they came up we from did. Behind uh, us. Is the right yeah, well, you know what? I'm just gonna the follow Dylan. Uh, oh, 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 oh. They do that too. Help! Don't leave me behind. Uh, don't care. I need to keep looking up. Oh, mm. run! Mm -hmm. Oh, where? Where? Very, very, very right here. Are we gonna full loop or where are we going? Nope, not yet. This is half a loop. Wood, 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 and berry. Right here. Maybe it doesn't. See, this is what I'm just used to be. This is what I'm talking about. Ah. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Is there anything around? Or no? For Dodger. There's a wood right here. Same. Wood. Mm. Three, three. You see, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Barrier. Maybe it's randomized between runs, but I definitely think was, not. I think it was. I think it was uh, randomized before. Like, like at the very beginning, because people had things different to each other. At the very beginning, it was also broken. So. True. Yeah. That might have been prob part of the problem. Blood. All right. The oh, so berry. Oh, move, 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 move. The berry. I'm almost there. Mm -hmm. cut. I have a bit of my memory. Thank you. Your mouth. Garbage compressor. Mm -hmm. Garbage compressor. Wait, I think I've looped around. I have I been here before? Hmm. I'm looking for the last. Set of berries in the last field. Where? 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 Should they look more up? Where? I'm looking for them. I need, I need two more wood and three more berries. Okay. No. Let's need one more wood. There's the wood. What's all about? Okay, berries. I've got one more berry and two more wood piles to find. No, I gotta find a way to the center. Oh, there we are. Systematically search the whole, the whole place, mm -hmm. and we're done with over we a minute to spare. Anyway, but you know. Yeah. Mm hmm. We can leave. Just... Seems to work pretty well. I mean, you gotta, you gotta distract. Uh, it, yeah, I don't think I'm going mm -hmm. this way. Oh, berries. Okay, we got. We just need the wood, and we're good. Ah, uh, I. Nope. <laughs> that was not intentional. Oh. Careful. Of how easy it was to miss the wood last time. Yeah, it got. Oh, there we go. I'm free. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I didn't run. Uh, coming, right, coming, coming back. Coming back. Coming yeah. back. It's coming back. It's coming back. I now have all materials. I'm done. Mission accomplished. I get it! Oh my fucking god, that's the first time I've got them all. Thank you for announcing that you found that. Oh, green arrow. Well, time's 
don't that way. <laughs> now we're gonna get the bad ending. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the bad ending. Got myself pushing around. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. We need to get, oh, need to get the uh, sticky situation. That was great. I changed the story. No, we need to get the sticky situation. I only like my I got pushed three times and I still caught all of them. That was a very cool after the time ran out, I found the fun of the game. I never saw the ghost. Oh, come on. I thought it was going to happen tomorrow. I had also had five berries. I think I had five berries. I know I'm doing it. I hope we can take a break, Trey Jim. Yeah, we need to go. Travels, your attention, please. It appears we are all here. I ask for your attention and silence. For those interested, which I know is all of you, this group collected an average of 9.1 resources each wow. out of 10. A phenomenal yeah. effort, oh my, my friends. Nice. And we were wrecking yeah. house, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sure worry. Plenty will get wrecked the later. The story continues. Wow. That's a good score. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby, moss-covered bricks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire and the flames stare back. His face is warm. His back is cold. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. I'm useless. The past few days catch up to him, and within minutes, he slips into a deep sleep. Let's go, baby! Mm -hmm. I'm blue, dabba dee dabba die. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Across a twilight meadow, a pack of black wolves bound, long grass whipping by. They are on the hunt, following a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted. Something else stirs the grass, and though it evades the eyes, its presence can be felt. A sense of something imminently wrong, a feeling that things are not how they should be. 
a shadow is in pursuit. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. You have one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard. Your time starts now. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Listen, it's a cat fight. What can I do? It's in my nature. That is the secret move. We'll have to say that for we are not a cult. you give me an idea? to detach. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, I, the last I'm not using five. the voice mod at Editor the moment, uh, but I can yeah. think of two yeah. avatars that you might have seen. Man, oh, no, that's it. That, oh, oh, oh my God, I'm I really sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I Aslan, I yeah. only did this to her like once before, so I'm still <laughs> missing a lot of the puzzle pieces. Yeah. I knew I knew your voice. <laughs> your time. Has expired. Mm. Oh. And I think it is only fitting that in this cyan mm. filter we are immersed in, oh. that I call mm. upon the laser variant, cyan laser. Mm. What oh. will the prince do? The prince will detach. I'm a fire in my laser. Will detach. That wasn't one of the options I listed. What a sneaky lot you are. Using <laughs> hidden keywords to unlock yes. the depths of this story. <laughs> oh, the, uh, this you know is what you happens. Know. That escalated quickly. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he sees the truth. The shadow closes in on the Dacians they do not seem aware of it at all. It draws closer and closer, ever silent, ever dark, and it reaches the soldiers and... it becomes one of them. The shadow has joined them, and they are oblivious. The shadow draws its sword, and instinctually, the prince grabs the grip of his own sword, readying himself. But the shadow does not strike the nations. It does not strike. They continue their march with the intruder among them, and before long, they are over the next hill, leaving the prince alone. Oh. My word. That is interesting. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm. Mm. Pretty fear thought. Hey, wake up. Had he not heard that one? Come on, wake up. Uh, oh. The prince is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue-gray, and the brother is crouched over him, looking elsewhere. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. 
Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords with foreign emblems on their shields. They're pushing a cart through the clearing. Dacians, the brother whispers, gritting his teeth. The veterans said they might be here. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden, or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general, and... He looks down at the prince, his expression softening. All right. Let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things scoop dirt over the charcoal, and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, Dacians are dangerously close this way. No. No what? Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Also, I don't think I even noticed that right. no! on Protag Chan until now. What? Uh, yes. the blinking lights. Hmm. Did you not Isn't hear the song again? What? I didn't notice that until now. How did you get oh. up there? Mm -hmm. did... Yeah, on the eyes. That was the last the week before. There's mm. a blinking That's not a mission. on the That's... eyes. Boom. Alright, I don't see a blinking on the eyes. The story Do you have their own star naval? Yes. It just seems like... Like metallic. The brothers hide in the undergrowth. Sorry. The outer walls of Felden loom over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate, bringing supplies inside. So... Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Or maybe they were already here and didn't need any distractions. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. But maybe I can... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Is he going to just run in and fight them? How are they not seeing him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? Uh, I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them after the rest went inside with a handcart. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock in one hand, and they wait. And wait. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry and yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase, but two remain hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction everyone went. Wait, his brother's sword. He might need it. But it's too late. The prince unsheathes it, just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes, and he holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. Lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Please. 
Hey, there's someone there, in the trees. No. The prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hears Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Either getting closer or further, he can hear their boots pounding, the ground their swords slashing through low-hanging branches. He can hear their heavy breaths. He can feel it on the back of his neck. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. He keeps running, and he slips suddenly on muddy ground, and then... The ground vanishes. The forest rises up, careening overhead as he topples into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. Chapter four. Final one. You can do it better, didn't you? Here. Oh, God. Oh. Whoops. Eh. And he's drowning. Finally, we do not have soup Geronimo. yet. Let's go in for a little swim. You will be missed, mm. random guy. Come on, you won't even remember that. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, on. Mm. That's true. I'm a mermaid. True. I can swim just fine. <laughs> Oh fuck, I just saw my oh, adapter the, uh, My friends, at me. this Punk point in the story, we have a designated break. Use this Ooh, time to nice. have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to, but probably don't pee in the river, the prince the is in there. Please be back for the story to continue within four minutes. It's not the router, it's the bathroom. Can you tell me who not to pee on? That's one less of a oh, made progress. Pop, Campfire, you say? Pop, pop, Stay alive. Clear. Anyway. Yay! Can you about half an hour, maybe? That mean. Have, uh, have, have you seen anything? Uh-oh. You may have been wrong. Into the water! Soup! 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 We will most likely get a story continuation oh, later tonight, so, so, so they, don't worry. RGB fire, just go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. At the end of the day, I remember now. Hold on, I'm getting myself back on track. Yes! Oh, this Have is you better. Ever... Our tradition! Oh. Ow. <laughs> okay, there we are. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Did Advo show you any of the stuff he used for next week? He showed a single screenshot, and I think I know what it is. It's really far away. Interesting. He showed me one. I'm not sure. It showed me a picture of what we're probably going to be fighting. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. I saw a completely different Yay. one. But he showed Thanks me something everyone. else that now looks then, like it was tied to like, one of the mechanics soup. of it. So. Mm -hmm. Is he doing the turn-based oh, thing he talked okay. about? Back. Hi, how Possibly? Are you? He didn't, no, he didn't oh, say anything. Yeah. He, yeah. oh, yeah. he showed a screenshot with, uh, yes. uh, with the comic Where's you the finally there get to meet go. someone. I've eaten the soup. Soup. Pizza. soup before soup. this. Soup. Okay. Soup. Okay. Ate a couple slices of it. Soup. And after this he says it's soup because he never speaks in anything but ominous terms. He, of course, like, has to say ominous shit to me. Where he's like, ominous terms. Wait, I'm actually looking at the picture again. Not only does it show the thing that we're most... Not only does it show the thing we're most likely fighting, well, then it, then it, like it shows last very long. Yeah, yeah, what I can only assume is the crystal long. inside of me. Oh, soup uh, can. Massive in the air. <laughs> and okay. what and ah, a screenshot of me in the world. So I saw a screenshot that had both of us. All right. And uh, like a crystal so and all this other Who is this well. fireborn you may speak of? Well. Ah, uh, yes. This Fireborn character goes by a single song. Listen. You know what? Should I be worried? Some soul fire? Well. Or some puffin boots. You want to sit on soul fire? That should give you a hint on who the Fireborn's going to be tonight. Uh. Uh.
That sounded like a Soul Legend of Zelda here. thing. So <laughs> okay. you, you could probably play you it in Ocarina of Time if you wanted to. Okay, I'm Soul cooking fire. myself in the Soul Fire. Ah, that's toasty. Twilight Princess is my Twilight Princess is my favorite. That's impossible. There's no such thing here. Nobody likes Zelda. <laughs> Um, How much longer do you think the tour is? Well, I don't know. How much longer is the tour? Yeah, I just care, I'm just curious. We kind of skipped, right? So it sounds like it's going to be shorter. But uh, Yeah, because now there's a new chapter that was added. I only saw four. Uh, in, elongated. Um, I don't... I don't... It's rather short. It's like a really... Although... Really Realistically, it's like a long, played-out fight scene that in the in the throne room. Do you remember? Well, I, I wasn't here last time, so. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, I wasn't here last time, but I, you were here before last, right? Yeah. Were, were you here so. for when we discovered um, that you can prevent the city from being destroyed? Yeah. From the false scar. Yeah. So yeah. So I haven't been talking to you or anything, Techno. I haven't been on VR chat in a long time. It's okay. It's okay. Did you just have a so. soundboard of Panda going through? It is the first time I've been on since like a few, uh, a few weeks or so. Oh. I can't tell because it's, okay. it's quiet for me right now. Like, it, it sounds really yeah. quiet It sounds like Panda. I'll keep you in my prayers, okay? Thank you. I appreciate that. I ask for your attention. The designated break has come to a close, which means, of course, that the story must go on. Chapter 4 The prince comes to Something is pulling on his leg He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle He panics and kicks at it and, not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yell inside a town right by the water's edge utterly soaked he shivers and sits up everything hurts he looks up up at the town structures and the sword ah oh, it's still here firmly in its sheet he makes sure it's out of sight and gets to his feet, heading into the town of Felden. My friends, this way. The last I think we should go the other way. That's, that's oh. interesting. Like, like, seriously serious, you know, when the, mm -hmm. when the town comes down, right? We need to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. into Not too far, too far. That's the theory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, good question. Yes, I would advise remaining behind me at all times. Yeah. You don't want to run ahead and accidentally the confuse me. Like, they're like preemptively sitting there. Yes, please. Sorry. Yes, sorry. Sorry, of course I have it. Anyway, that, that's my conspiracy theory. Welcome back, there. interesting. I found a I like searched oh. the entire... He has to be around here somewhere. Too crazy. <laughs> Should've used the teleport. Yeah, no, oh, but then again, you can find it in the we were, so... I didn't know where anyone was. Yeah, yeah, I'm so, so glad I remember the name. We all say, don't, don't like think about the crown, but don't leave the crown. You have to stay on the crown. I asked what the name was, and it was, the name is Nick Silas. First his hand. Oh, okay. Nick Silas. We're trying to find the key to Nick Silas up here. It could be in this area. The prince hears a commotion ahead. There's a line of people with wooden bowls outside a door. 
He can see Dacian soldiers inside, giving out the same amount of food to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see. He's going hungry. He's all skin and bones. Please, sirs. Hey, that's not fair, says the townsman right behind her. Where does she get more? Peace, peace, orders the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Hmm. Fine, have extra, but just this once. Oh, bless you, Vana, bless you. And here, the soldier adds, offering a wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them but they block his exit. He peers up at them, carefully. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help, but no, there are so many people here. The Dacians might help the zealots. A fight might break out. Innocent people will get hurt. No, there's too much risk. Come now, lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. Uh, Simon? Comes. Wait for it. Do we go in? Wing. Here we go. Oh, I remember it. All right, here we go. You got this, Kirby. Here we go. We getting into play? Who are we gonna fight? With what? <coughs> oh. Um, oh. What the hell? Oh. Is this different? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it's hold very on, different. Bit more space. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, I think that's the bottom. Yep. One more time. Close I enough. Don't worry. What? There we go. There we go. This is not deactivated by activity. Oh, it's a model has particles. Corre, corre, gatito. Uh, perhaps. Oh, there it was. It has like five. Kirby. May I 10,000? Kindness. And Corina, if you please stand aside so that the tour guide can see the group. Thank you, my friend. You do, either. Kindly, just a little okay. bit further. Thank you. A little bit further? Okay, I thought I was going far way. enough. My apologies. <laughs> okay. The zealots lead the prince down, down some old rock hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark 
spring. Carved niches hold sickly candles, and many figures in red stand near the corners, watching, silent. Fireborn, says one of the zealots, we have the prince. A shadow that the prince did not see until just now slowly turns. A titan of a man with a broad chest, square shoulders, draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like that of a statue, chiseled and weathered, bearing a fearsome grin. searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? The prince can't bring himself to lift his head. Every breath trembles with heaven. We found him alone, Fireborn. We think the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. No, oh, it matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing. Else, why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches, the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn wielder of the infernal miracles. And you and I share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No. The death I seek is that of Daisha. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Daisha. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why... Evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lake Fort and started this whole war, didn't they? Didn't they? Oh. <laughs> you see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its moor. You destroyed Lake Fort. The war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that you have you and no idea how to harness it. And that is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varna has a place for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. I have a gift. A crown. Your crown. Not that of a king, but of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circle it offered him. The two parallel bands have a dull shine, but it is otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother, Daisha. The prince watches as the circlet 
glows with lure. The war with Daisha is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. He must be right. He must be. Do I want to wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? Pick it up. Do I want to wear the crown? I... I... Yes, I do. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up and places it upon his head. The Inquisitor smiles and everything has changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real. It is here. It is. Hellfire! Flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams and the flames roll back. And then... Someone tell me when the flame effect is over. I find. Is it over? Okay. It is over, Guardians. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, Apologies. I won't do it again. Oh, you're fine. No, Darkness returns. Don't, don't, and in the dark, embers glow. stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? But rising up with him is a great shadow. The Zealots have been reduced to mere embers. Another stands, towering, indomitable, fire-born. And the Inquisitor speaks, and cinders fall from his mouth. My prince, come. We have much work to do. Do we? Oh. Don't worry about the flame effect, Kirby. It was, it was more the uh, shades or that. You happy you know to have to make fun of you all yeah. 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 I kind of like doing the flame effect because fireborn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, you are yeah. perfectly yeah. fine yeah. to do that. I was born to filter that me out of my eyes. Got it. Mm -hmm. Toasty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you can't, you can't really see there. You can't really see the flame right here. You can't see it. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't want to stop the view, so. <clears throat> the 
prince and the inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. All is quiet. You know what I brought you here. The prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he can't be sure. There was fire, lots of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocked his attempt. Something else is in there. In his mind. The dust pawn was right. You are the chosen one. Granted influence upon this world. Like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church. An enemy of God. The very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has become infested, infested with Dacians. But even before then, Felden deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering, somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Valsweth, Halburn, Oradea, Medias, Belden, May the heavens come down upon them. May they be reduced to ashes. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. From up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of silver. Mountains are mounds of soil and stones. Towns and cities are smudges of beige and grey, and the sea is a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. He reaches out and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. And a face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed. Peaceful. Beautiful. Delicate. Porcelain white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have one minute. 
Destroy. So this is where we use the fire. So, <laughs> so for those who don't know, for those who don't know, there is a so for those who don't know, there is a secret option called the fire, which we can use. Use the fire to call on. And that will take Defy. us deeper. Mm -hmm. Defy. I'm going to destroy the Shenandoah River. Don't if we it. destroy the tour, we'll end the river. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If we defy, we'll get I'm deeper. not going to defy. For those who didn't hear it over here, you can defy and instead of destroying it if you wish to. I shall defy. He's the plan. You're trying to brainwash me. I won't I'm fall for it. <laughs> but I won't but defy any of you. But you can defy, mm. but I won't defy any wash. of you. I will defy it. it. I will oh, defy you. No, you. But you can defy if you I so choose. No, you. Though. What's the matter? No, not the garden. Lies I won't. I'm gonna destroy your you all. <laughs> well, I mean, in all fairness, I did kind of I eat a Tide you. Pod, so uh. <laughs> Yes, the fire attempts to destroy it. Which I do not know. It's, 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 it's intoxicating. <laughs> We're all kind of glowing <laughs> here. <laughs> and I don't mean it metaphorically, <laughs> or rhetorically, question? or poetically, or theoretically, or in any other fancy way. Mm -hmm. I'm up. death straight My friends. up. First kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The time to make a decision is upon us, and I'm going to call upon the wisdom of minus, 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 Z, minus, minus, minus. Oh, Choose wisely. What We're gonna defy the snot bugger. Uh-oh. Defy <laughs> is not an option that I stated. You are certain. Oh yeah, we're doing it anyways. We're doing it live. Mm -hmm. We're doing it live. Persistent, <laughs> aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're doing it. He's doing his snot thing. It shall be done. <laughs> Chapter 5 Chapter 5? No The prince shakes his head No He doesn't want to The crown pushes But he resists He can't He can't do it He destroyed Lakeforth It was his vision His will He started the war Not Daisha but if he destroyed Lakeport just by envisioning its destruction, then that means answer its call. The prince looks over at the Inquisitor. I won't. He can feel his brother's sword at his side. He can't forget who he is. He won't forget. I, I'm sorry? What did you say? I won't answer its call. What? You refuse? Ha! <laughs> Foolish boy. Don't you realize that you are a weapon? Weapons can't defy. They're wielders. They can't choose who dies and who lives. No. That is the responsibility of me. The prince turns fully to face the Inquisitor. I wield my own power. And he closes.
closes his eyes and he wishes. He wishes for the Inquisitor to not be here. He wishes to send him far, far away. He tries to visualize the giant man somewhere else. With all his heart, he wishes. Something shines upon his eyelids, a brilliant light, and then fades. Slowly, he opens his eyes. The prince stands upon the hill, alone. tries to remove the crown, but for some reason he can't bring himself to touch it. And then, all at once, in the safety of isolation, he realizes everything that has happened, and he falls to his knees. It was me. I destroyed my fort. I opened the earth. That means the storm that killed my father was... He looks up. Nearby stands a figure. A man in black armor, the visor lower on his dented helmet. A Dacian soldier. The two stare at one another, silent, wordless. Others come up the hill, more Dacian soldiers pointing spears and swords at the prince. One with a crest steps forth. You there, boy, identify yourself and explain that light. The prince looks to the helmeted Dacian who arrived first, and then back to the leader. This is his chance. This is how he can fix everything. He slowly stands and pulls aside his cloak, revealing his brother's regal blade. I am the prince of Lazarus. My friends, travelers, please follow me. <clears throat> okay, that's huge. Mm -hmm. that's this is new. This is new. Okay. Not really did it. No, it's not new. We've been here before. We got past chapter Sorry, four. Huh? This was we chapter need to five. Go up the steps, by the way. We have made it to chapter five. Uh, chapter five was in. Wow. Another piece of our puzzle. I've never seen this. Yeah. Before. It was chapter five. Yeah, first, 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 yeah, the prince remains surrounded by Dacian soldiers, the helmeted Dacian right behind him. I want the forest patrolled all night, the general says to one of his men. Bring me the accounts of the scouts who went west. Ready the siege engineers. Send word to the commanders to march at dawn, and someone find those cursed zealots. They're gone. The general stops and the soldiers stop with him. He glances back at the prince over his shoulders. What did you say? The zealots are gone. I 
goes with them beneath Felden. The Inquisitor burned them all, and then I made him disappear with that light you saw. The soldiers look at one another, muttering, mumbling. The general glances across his subordinates. I... I can show you where it happened. What are you doing? The prince thinks to himself. You are my brother. Nobody will listen to you. And these are Dacians. They've been all reading Elizabeth for five years. But another voice inside him speaks up. No. They didn't start the war, and neither did Lazarus. I started the war, and I can end it. Let me go back to Morolos. I'll, I'll speak with my mother. Without the Inquisitor there, we're safe. We don't have to fight. I'll explain what happened, and she'll make you a peace offer. I know she will. He can feel tension all through his body, but the fear does not possess him. I know I'm young. I know I don't look like much. But I can end this war. I can. What do you know that I don't? The general approaches the prince. Hey. The prince looks down, unable to face the man's intensity. I... The, the zealots, they started the war. Yes, it was a trick. What happened at Langford is their fault. My mother never wanted the war. My father never wanted the war. We don't have to fight anymore, because the zealots are gone. Show me where the zealots were. My friends, please, follow me. stands tall and majestic, unscarred despite years of war. The garrison had allowed them into Moravos on hearing Dacia was here to sue for peace. Despite this, the prince is uncomfortable. At the entrance stands a small host of knights, and in their middle is the silver Aegis armed and armored. The general approaches with the prince, and the Aegis moves to meet them in the middle. A silence hangs. Your mother will be glad to have you by her side again, sire, she says to the prince. And I am glad to see you alive and well. She turns her attention to the Dacian general. I am told you are here to talk peace with the queen. As it stands, myself and my aegises are all that remains between you and her majesty, the queen. Tell me, Dacian, why should I let you go any further? The 
general removes his helmet and holds it under one arm. I have seen the zealots myself, dead and burnt. And I am told they were responsible for Lakefort, acting against your queen's will, taking advantage of the absence of your king. He pauses and nods. Daisha is willing to move past this conflict. And as a token of thrust, we return to you, your prince. What of the eldest, the heir? The Aegis scans the host of Dacians, her helmet still on. All our efforts to find him were in vain. He has eluded us completely. looks back and forth across the Dacians twice more. She is a steel fortress, foreboding and immovable, shining both silver from the moon and orange from the braziers. That is regrettable. Well, Her Majesty remains skeptical. You will understand that she is requested to see her son return to her before any further talks. The general nods again. I do understand, and you will understand that I request to send at least one of my own in with the prince, to at least confirm circumstances first hand. The Aegis gives a shrug. Fine. You, come with us. She points at one of them. The Silver Aegis, the Prince, and the Helmeted Dacian enter the palace together. My friends, the Prince is home. But. Ollie. How many doors? The throne room. Hmm. Where's the throne? I always made it. Oh, great society. Please. Where's your sense of imagination? Oh, sushi. Really? You sit on top of that spike and make sure it fits very well. That's not a stone. Looks like a religious symbol. Yeah, it should be. Just realized chapter five should teleport snow. Yep, this looks like a confrontation. Please let us have a bit of sushi. I get the feeling okay. it's negotiation. Well, I'm saying it looks like he wants some step on him. Ether took care of it. The better question, what negotiation? Mm. <laughs> oh, this looks very it's a, it's ominous. <laughs> Climatic room. Yeah, that was kind of it. Like, mm -hmm. Very. Still going this far. Feels like there's a boss fight here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I doubt this is a good ending. I think this is like the oh actual bad God. ending. Oh, I actually agree with you. Just you. Wait. My the story continues. The throne room is tall, empty, and cold. Any comfort offered by the gentle moon withheld by stained glass. Upon the throne sits the queen. She makes no movement upon seeing her own son. The Silver Aegis approaches the Queen and takes a name. Your Majesty, the Aegis gestures behind herself. The Dacians have proven useful. The royal family is reunited. The Prince blinks. Reunited? But what of his brother? 
The queen says nothing. The prince looks at her from across the room, at her empty eyes, at her regal crown, and... Sudden pressure builds in his mind. He feels his crown respond. It's too much. He drops to all fours with a cry. Steel sings, and the helmeted Dacian draws his sword. The Aegis stands slowly, calmly, still facing the throne, and draws her own sword very intentionally. The blade and the hilt glimmering. But that's not her sword. That's not the Silver Aegis's sword. She pulls off her own gauntlet and draws the blade across her exposed palm, unflinching. The crimson trail begins to glow and it catches fire. The flames erupt with a roar and the Aegis is engulfed. And when the inferno dies... The Inquisitor stands in her place. Called it. He turns to the prince, his robes whirling, his eyes gleaming, the moonlight blood red. Without blood warning, red. the helmeted Dacian runs at the Inquisitor, leaping at him for a strike. With barely any effort and a flash of flame, the Inquisitor knocks him aside. Metal clangs as the Dacian's dented helmet bounces away. And the prince's heart drops as he realizes who this station is. I owe you my utmost gratitude, young sire, the Inquisitor says to the prince. You brought the Dacian general, general directly to me. And I suppose I must also thank your brother for providing me with such a convenient opportunity. Why, nobody but he and I knew the Silver Aegis's true fate. Ah, she made the perfect disguise. The prince, still unable to stand, still feeling a weight in his mind, stares in disbelief. My own brother killed the Aegis? No, he wouldn't. He told me he didn't. He swore. It's a lie. Oh, I'm afraid it's not a lie. Although, to be fair, I don't think he did it intentionally. One might call it a rather unfortunate sequence of events. That he violently initiated. Fairness aside... There is work to be done. My young prince, I have no qualm with you. We have spoken already. Come to see eye to eye, if you will. No, you are not the problem here. He points the glimmering sword at the prince's brother, just now recovering from the blow. The heir will not become king. He has joined the ranks of our enemy, murdered his own mentor and guardian, betrayed his own kingdom and turned his back to God. And so he must perish in divine flames. The sword ignites, casting brilliance throughout the dim chamber, and the Inquisitor's eye sockets are empty, burning with embers. The brother grabs his own weapon and struggles to his feet. I don't care about being king. I don't even care about Dacia anymore. They didn't start this war. It was... It was my brother's own gift. I don't exactly know how his gift works, but I do know he didn't mean it. He didn't want there to be a war. He didn't want to cause the storm. He needs help. He needs someone to look up to. Someone who won't leave him. 
And I'm his brother, and it's my duty to look after him. He means the world to me. I would die for him. Do you hear me, Inquisitor? I would die for him! Oh, really? How convenient. Time to pay the price. The Inquisitor plants both feet firmly on the ground and thrusts his offhand forth. A lick of flame erupts from his fingertips, blazing toward the brother. The prince is paralyzed by the crown. As a group, you must decide on behalf of the brother. You have one minute to decide what he can do, starting now. Just for clear, what we did last about. time, what we did last time that. was this dodging, dodging the first strike Detect. does nothing. You still get hit. I think we should probably try to find a way for the for the brother to get to the prince to grab his own sword because he doesn't have his own sword right now. Go for the queen. his own sword. What's that? Pick it up. Go for the queen. Come on, pick it up. <gasps> oh. What if we try to go for the queen because she has the other counter? I think we need our. I, I think we need. Or I think the brother needs his own sword. We did try to do I that as well. I think the brother needs his own sword first. But, yeah. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Break <laughs> yeah. eye contact of the sword would be the other We try to remove the crown if. Where we probably need an opening yes. to remove the crown. Try to remove the crown. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. The second so idea is we try to remove both of them. Okay, the second this idea I had was maybe yeah, yeah. it melted. It, uh, the heat melted the sword last yeah. time we tried the block. Second, yeah. second, 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 Controlling the brother yep. right now. Fog, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Cogs. Maybe the brother, brother needs yeah. to yeah. Or are we controlling the brother? Oh, your time has ended. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Can play that oh, game. I will oh, call upon <laughs> Debbie J at the back. Come forth. Debbie J. That's right. Debbie J. Hang your head. <laughs> Tell me, Debbie. Shit. What is the I best am. plan you have heard we'll from this see. group? We'll what will the brother do? Should try to run for the prince to grab our other sword. The Inquisitor won't try to attack the prince, I don't think. Mm. Yeah. Wait you wish to run toward shit. the no, prince no. and try and retrieve the brother's own sword. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. <laughs> An intriguing plan. Yeah. But is the timing right? Wait, 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 wait. This is what happens. <sighs> the brother gathers himself and tries to break into a sprint for his own brother. But there's not enough time. Mm -hmm. This isn't a fireball. This is a whip of flame, and it snaps across his body, melting straight through the black armor and scorching his flesh. The brother cries out and topples to the hard ground once more, making only a couple of paces. The Inquisitor readies the glimmering sword and leaps forth, swinging the mighty blade down toward the brother. The prince is still paralyzed. What? Does the brother do? You have one minute. Should try to strike right, back in this case. What's the plan? 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 What
I fucking love this song. Yep. It's very good. 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 It's very like first we got the not with the flame, right? We were Bell. doing this double yes. thing before that we got into this. We were talking about a sidearm. Mm. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 I feel like this time I should have mentioned that we have a gun. Brink has the brother. Okay. We do a gun the first time. Trajan, shoot him. He's up. Trajan. Wait, we have a gun? Am I right? He has a fire. No time for discussion. No time for questions. I will call upon... Alizé. Okay. What does the brother do? Hmm. I think he should try to dodge and continue to grab the sword. You suggest the brother physically dodge out of the way. Is that correct? Yes. Was that a yes? It was. Yes. Oh. Very well. Dark Souls style. I mean, you're not wrong. Yes, Dark Souls it. <laughs> Make sure you get those iframes. Dodge, dodge iframes into the attack, you know? I-frames. The brother rolls feebly aside, but the Inquisitor is too quick. As soon as the large man lands, a giant boot shoots out toward him and the brother is sent flying across the room. He feels the tremendous power shudder through his bones and something cracks within his chest. Gasping for breath, he tries to get back on his feet. The Inquisitor steps back, glaring down at the brother who is still trying to stand. The Inquisitor raises one arm heavenward and fire begins to gather in his palm. An infernal miracle. The prince remains paralyzed. What does the brother do? One minute. I have a really stupid thought. Right, I have so a we, really, so, really stupid right, thought. This one, Same. we need to attack for sure. Listen, listen so we have to, so we have to attack because the last time we I've tried to do anything the else, Gattel. the attack was too quick. So we but should I probably try to rush in and attack now. him. You and I have a, I yeah, have yeah, like, we should definitely run over here. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. throwing the sword didn't work last time. We threw the sword at the queen. Didn't have enough time. So we should try to rush in and attack. Yeah, they were trying to, they were trying to, they were trying to knock the crown off the queen. That's what they were trying to do. I think we should probably try to rush to attack or something. Yeah, no, you're good. No, you're, yeah, you're good. We're the second gasping for is, breath with, the with, a bro with broken ribs, attack. most likely. Yeah, he, he must be I very flexible. Uh, 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 like uh, uh, maybe, I don't know. Oh, that's right. I have no idea. Your time oh, there it goes. is up. I do think it's time. I am calling upon the wisdom, the insight, the imagination of incognito. Okay, I'm counting. 
The brother is gonna rush up and try to strike the uh, Inquisitor. He's gonna attack him. Meet him head on. DPS check. <laughs> Meet who head on? Is what say? The the Fireborn. He's gonna go strike the Fireborn. Meeting him head on. He's gonna go attack him. Strike with what? Uh, his sword in his hand. Dude, I don't think he got the sword. Did he have a sword? I don't. Yeah. I don't think he got the. He has a weapon. Yes. Yeah, I think. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He, oh, he has a yeah. sword and a shield and perhaps other weapons. Okay. Okay. This oh, is okay. what, That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I didn't know he had a shield. I didn't know he had a shield. And I think yeah. it's interesting how he no, says he perhaps the sword other weapons. Listen, listen to the tour guide. Listen to the tour guide. Yeah. Time. Wait a minute. Shield bash. This is information we should have learned at the beginning. No, we don't have the golden the period brother, yet, so we can't use that. With the Dacian sword in hand, barely manages to scramble to his feet, and he throws himself in the direction of their mighty enemy. The Inquisitor's attack is all-encompassing. A fire that shoots blazes across the throne room. And death. Mm. And death. Yep. We did. No, no, tricky. You see, not a the brother a shield is engulfed. <laughs> the prince watches the un events unfold. Help us. The Inquisitor grabs the prince by his head and lifts him off the ground. But when he lets go, the prince does not fall. He hangs by the head, by the crown. The prince becomes completely trapped in his own body as he feels a presence increase nearby. And he watches, powerless, as his brother's body is removed from the throne room. His mother's cold voice echoes through the tall chamber. The prince looks at her sitting upon the throne, but there is no movement. The queen's disembodied voice orders the deaths of the Dacians outside and declares that a new era has begun. And in era under her rule as the Grey Queen. My friends, please kindly follow me for this tale's conclusion this so, way. Like, I was thinking I tricky, right? Research notes I think more. you were supposed to jump mm. over the first attack if it, if it was a whip. Uh, I think now we have I like it. what I Small said about that. Ideas, but to Prison cell. Really because historically, shield bashing is used to disorient an attacker disorient uh, during those old yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, so like that actually <laughs> seems like a <laughs> more of a I didn't realize exactly. that shield. I got a couple of ideas tank along, the first hit. Along at the library, but one thing I'm going to suggest is the researcher, the archaeologist's research notes. I've heard some people suggest time. jump since it's a whip. I think. Yeah, Ooh. I've seen jump and game. duck. I think Smile suggested that. Duck. <laughs> Did they ever try to shield the lamp? Because I discovered that the other day. No. Nope. Anyway. Do we even have uh, a shield? I haven't, but I've only seen one. I will. Uh, you said he thinks duck is the answer. I'll ask Trajan for that. Yeah. 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 Armor. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good point. I ask for your attention.
by royal decree, the Inquisitor becomes the Oracle of the Church of Varna and the general for a great new army of Lazarus. He guides the vanguard in the war against the neighboring kingdom of Dacia, he himself wielding the power of a thousand men and the fire straight from a dragon's bowels. And his greatest weapon? Not his infernal miracle, not any blade nor spear, but a boy ever by his side donning Varnan robes and bearing a simple crown, a boy who, when not needed, sits on the throne, the stone floor of a tall, featureless room without music, without art, without education, without friendship, without love. A boy who, with a single thought, would reduce entire armies, cities, kingdoms to dust, to be blown away in the next breeze. Time and time again. Dear friends, welcome to Bad Ending B of the Prince. For those who are new here, there will be some announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen, so I ask please that you remain here while the tour guides realign our ether. If you would like to take a group photo, please do so here and now. We tour guides will stand aside, and after you take the photo, if you're taking one, Sheen will deliver his announcements for you all. Alright, who's, take, who's taking the pic? And who's standing there? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, right? He is. She'll yeah, be as shortly as the story. Like 